just a few days ago, I met with Bob. Um, we did a, our very first episode with him. And what I want to show with Bob, first, Bob's name is Bob Emberg. I would not uh, introduce too much of you to him today. My reason is that I do want to sit down and do some interviews with him. That will be a lot of information for everybody. So I'll just give you a general idea who Bob is. Bob, um, Bob's dad, Mr. Amberg, he started a nursery not close, not very far from where I live, uh, decades ago. Five years, roughly, yeah, five years ago, Bob had eventually Bob took it over, and five years ago, Bob had to close it down. And the saddest part was the biggest reason was such a skillful a gardener so much knowledge and the reason he had to uh, close his uh, nursery was because everybody was going to the the big box stores the Lowe's and the Home Depot's of the world there was a whole generation which probably started coming uh, to the store when or the farm when Bob's dad used to run the store and then eventually those customers kept on going or coming. Then happens, which happens to all of us, a whole generation goes away, a new generation comes. The new generation was not ready to respect what he brings. The skill which goes in there, I've been gardening for multiple decades. I cannot be there. Uh, how beautifully he handles all those ceilings and puts them in a big, bigger uh, container. It's amazing. It's amazing. It's good to learn from a master who can do things that way. So from here, let's go and see Bob. Good morning all. Bob here. Today we're transplanting a few tomatoes. Uh, I have two different ones. The first one is Bronze Torch, which is a little purple, purple and dark colored cherry. Excellent flavor. Nice size. There's also Super Sue which is a much larger, almost a beefsteak type over here. And then there's a few lettuce in here too, in the uh, seed tray. So we start, we loosen up. Pull them apart carefully. And put them in. Try to get the roots covered nicely. The soil is a little drier than I like, but I'll water them right away. Get them down. I have a nice aluminum dibble, but I can't find it. So a Sharpie works. Again, you get in, work the soil underneath, pull them out carefully, then separate. A tomato can go down as deep as possible because uh, they will root along the stem. Where much, most other plants you want to keep at the same root level. Tomato can always go deeper. There's less water uh, needed. Go a little bit deeper. And I find it just gets them off to a good start. One way of planting tomatoes, some people will plant them sideways. Because the sun, when they go into the ground, uh, the sun... Uh, warms them up and they get off to a quicker start. You can't do it earlier in the season. So we're just coming into the season where they can start to be transplanted outside. Today is May 12th. Uh, yeah, pretty much all the plants we do are done like this. Some things like basil, things like that will direct seed into these flats because it's so hard to transplant but with the tomatoes very easy to do again get them in push the roots down carefully you don't want to break the roots off again soil uh work the soil underneath pull them out carefully try to shake a little of the excess so soil off pull them apart carefully and then right back into the ground Important step, we'll be marking what's in the flat because you don't want to end up with a mystery flat. This will work out good because I'll have a little space. I could probably put some of those lettuce in there. There isn't enough for a full flat of those. Almost down to the end. Whoop, broke a leaf. Down, in, halfway.
so we're going to end up with almost 30 plants. These trays hold 32. Ouch. Just ruin that one. There we go. All right. Messed up on that one. Oh, no, that was the ripped leaf. And one more. So we have 16... 20, 23 plants. And again, the same thing with the lettuce. Work your soil underneath. Pull them out carefully. And right into the soil. Try to knock off some of the excess roots. And there we go. Just got to have a tender touch. Don't be too rough with the seedlings. They are babies. So we got the cherry tomatoes done. Again, it was bronze torch. It's a nice uh, sized cherry, very dark and with great flavor and good producer. Uh, we do several different types of cherries. You can get them in yellow, almost any color now. And traditional red. So that fills our flat. We got nine lettuce plants in there. Uh, we are continuing with our tomato transplants. We're going to fill the flat lightly with soil. You don't want to pack it down too hard. This is a mix of a grower's mix and a regular potting soil. The grower's mix I find a little too heavy, the potting a uh, little too light, the potting soil is a little too heavy. So you want a nice light mix. You want to knock off the excess. These are a little smaller, so we got to be a little bit more careful. Again, separate them out. This is that super sue. And it's not spelled like the my sister Sue. It's like the Sioux Indians. Again, pull them apart carefully. Get that root down nicely. And you're pulling them apart carefully, again with that tender touch. So we have our cherries done. We grow a few other different varieties. Pull them apart carefully. Nice day to do this. Again, we're in almost mid-May, Mother's Day weekend coming up. And that's usually the traditional planting time. Uh, This year we're going to get a little late, a little later start. We've had some real cold nights, had some heavy rain. Almost there, not getting quite as many out of this flat. Well, maybe we will, let's see. Now I've got four more. Again, carefully pull them out. So we're getting 16, 18 of these super sue plants. 19. We'll keep that little one in there. And again, I don't have many lettuce left, but I'll use a couple more of the lettuce. The lettuce is called Gustav's Salad. It's a nice leaf lettuce. A little smaller than I'd like to transplant, but I want to be done with that seed tray. And got half a dozen of the lettuce plants, it looks like. And I'll have to get something else to finish this flat. You don't want empty space in the greenhouse. It's wasted space. And, and that finishes that. So you had Gustav salad, uh, lettuce, 
good stuff salad lettuce and then our bronze torch cherry and the super sue the larger okay so it was a nice day we finished transplanting some tomatoes a little bit of lettuce you can see it's very easy to do the key is tender touch using a nice soil you separate them out carefully you don't rip them out you pull them out separate them carefully uh, and then you want to water them good afterwards and hopefully they'll start to grow